Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today my video is going to be slightly different. I thought I'd film an extra video since it's the holiday season um, and offer you more interesting things to watch. Um, this is just going to be like a quick little book review actually. I've talked about this in some of my online courses. Um, but this is one of my favorite watercolor books of all time by Edith Holden and it's where I get a lot of inspiration from still and it's what inspired me. One of the reasons um, I was inspired to become a botanical artist and take my training when I was starting out. And Edith Holden was an artist um, sort of in the late 1800s and early 1900s. She wrote or illustrated this book, created it um, it was really just her nature journal and she created it in 1906 um, and what it is it's like her actual journal of all of these amazing spreads that she's illustrated and then done like a monthly title page for um, she's got beautiful sort of script hand lettering titles um, and then she makes notes about you know what she's observed in nature throughout the year and um, there's quite a lot of entries for every month and so I love kind of having my morning coffee and flipping through it to the page of what's you know in season for that time of year. Um, here is her one of her December illustrations. It's got a beautiful thing of holly and privet um, and then she's talking about um, some of the things going on in December where she lives at the time and she even puts in like some poems and there's lots of classic literature in here as well because that was really popular during um, the early 1900s and then also her birds are fantastic. Um, I've definitely really been inspired to paint more birds because of this book as well. Um, and how this got published was um, her nature journal, it was just a journal, it was never published, and unfortunately when she was alive she was never really famous um, or recognized, like she did have exhibitions and did illustrate some children's books, um, but you know she was never as big as she became after her death, unfortunately, that happens to many artists, um, but how this got published was um, in the 70s, it was passed down to one of her descendants, and um, so they actually published it quite a quite a few decades after her death um, into this nature notes book and it became really popular in the 70s and 80s um, so i think it's out of print now but there's tons and tons of used copies you can get on amazon i bought this one online i think for like three dollars so you can definitely get these um, at the library or on amazon for really good deals I also love that she used a lot of the common names and Latin names of the flowers and plants at the time and then she made this huge like alphabetical index of all of the plant names which I think is amazing. Um, I would absolutely love to be able to take the time to create a book like this as well. And so this is the last page, she's got some mistletoe and then the index starts. Um, and I will do a little flip through closer up at my desk here and show you a few more of my favorite spreads. So here is the front cover of The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady by Edith Holden and this was illustrated and written by her in 1906. Um, it actually became so popular that she had a, a less refined finished version of her notes. It was like the first one she tried in 1905 and that one was published after this one. Um, it's not quite as detailed because she was just starting out but I think I'll make a video on that one as well. If you would like to see a video on it please leave a comment down below and let me know because I own that one as well. So this book it starts off as I mentioned it goes monthly from January to December. She's got a title page, um, she's got lovely writing and, and a sort of letter hand lettering style for each monthly title um, and her paintings are amazing. These are of um, different types of uh, birds. There's blue tit, coal tit and great tit. These are birds um, commonly found in the UK where she lived and um, it just sort of goes through month by month. I won't show you every single page because that would give away a lot of the fun if you get this book. 
but I will flip through. There's more about spring. She also does little scientific style illustrations in pen, which I love. This is um, tadpoles and frogs and catus um, things. Things found um, like in um, bogs and little river areas. And it's a mix of her writing and illustrations. She does some pages, all writing, some pages full of illustrations, and she usually labels everything. So marsh marigold and wood sorrel, um, and then also names, you know, moths and butterflies and birds as well. Um, and then she also has some really beautiful full spreads across two pages, which are amazing. And I just never stop being um, obsessed with this book. It is my all-time favorite book. And I'll show you just flipping through some amazing pictures. Uh, there's a European starling, so this is getting back to November. Green woodpecker. Um, I'll show you some of the holiday ones that she's done since it's December when I'm filming this video right now. So more about um, the little birds in her backyard and some of the trees with berries. I love this little wren. And ivy. It shows also like kind of how she had a bird feeder set up back in the early 1900s, which is cool that they used like a bunch of sticks and made a teepee and it's a uh, coconut in half, I believe. And actually I was surprised that they had access to those at the time, but um, yeah, anyway, uh, or it could have been a bowl, but I thought I read about it that it was a coconut. Anyway, I'll have to look that up, but the fact that it shows you how she was feeding the birds in her backyard then, I think that's really, really cool. And there's a little British robin, some blue tits, so it looks like a, some type of thrush as well. And then this is the last page, a lovely little mistletoe illustration. And then this is what I mentioned earlier in the video. She has this great index and it's all done um, alphabetically by the common name of the plant. And then she also puts the Latin name of the plant as well. And she indexes everything on that um, that she's documented and found the entire year as well as the birds and that's a picture of her when she was younger I would have loved to have met her at the time but um, yeah if you are interested I highly recommend stopping by your used bookstore or the library and checking this out and it's where I get a lot of my inspiration from I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more book reviews like this.